Today, we will talk about Electronic Communication Network, ECN definition and examples. An electronic communication network is a computerized system that automatically matches buy and sell orders for securities in the market. ECN trading is especially helpful when investors in different geographic areas wish to complete a secure transaction without the use of a third party. ECNs connect major brokerages and individual traders so they can trade directly between themselves without going through a middleman. They also make it possible for investors in different geographic locations to quickly and easily trade with each other. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission requires ECNs to register as broker-dealers. ECNs are computer-based systems that display the best available bid and ask quotes from multiple market participants, and then automatically match and execute orders. They not only facilitate trading on major exchanges during market hours, but they are also used for after-hours trading and foreign currency trading. ECNs allow for automated trading, passive order matching, and speedy execution. The use of the ECN allows investors a way to trade outside traditional trading hours, providing a mechanism for those who either can't be actively involved during normal market times or who prefer the flexibility offered by wider availability. It also avoids the wider spreads that are common when using a traditional broker and provides overall lower commissions and fees. For those concerned about privacy, the ECN can provide a level of anonymity to those who desire it. This can be particularly attractive to investors interested in making larger transactions. One of the biggest drawbacks to using an ECN is the price to pay for using one. Access fees and commission charges can be costly and are difficult to avoid. Per trade based commissions can be costly and can affect your bottom line and profitability. Another disadvantage of using ECNs is that the platform is less user friendly than those provided by traditional brokers. Furthermore, the lack of integrated charts and data traditional brokers provide on their interfaces may make it difficult for beginner investors. Finally, the wider spreads may complicate the process of calculating break even and stop loss points for some investors. Along with ECNs, matching systems and call markets are also considered forms of alternative trading systems. Matching systems receive orders and route the activity through a matching engine instance where the prices are checked against current resting limit orders. If no match is found, the order is placed in the book immediately as a quote. Call markets accept orders one at a time, with buying and selling prices determined based on the exchange activity after the order is placed. Some of the different ECNs include Instanet, SelectNet, and NYSE Arca. Instanet was the first ECN, founded in 1969, and is used by small brokerages and for transactions between institutions. It is widely used by market makers for NASDAQ trades, but individuals and small firms can also use it. SelectNet is used primarily by market makers, but it does not require immediate order execution and helps investors trade with specific market makers. NYSE ARCA grew out of the merger between the New York Stock Exchange and Archipelago, an early ECN from 1996. It facilitates electronic stock trading on major U.S. exchanges such as the NYSE and NASDAQ. In foreign exchange markets, certain Forex brokers are designated as ECN brokers who can facilitate currency trades across electronic matching networks. The term market makers refers to high-volume traders that literally make a market for securities by always standing at the ready to buy or sell. Unlike ECNs, market makers profit on the bid-ask spread rather than through commissions and fees, and they benefit the market by increasing liquidity. Without market makers and ECNs, it would take considerably longer for buyers and sellers to be matched with one another, reducing liquidity, making it more difficult to enter or exit positions, and adding to the costs and risks of trading. ECNs are computer-based programs that connect retail Forex investors with major brokerages, all around the clock. After logging on to the ECN platform, investors will see the best available bid and ask quotes displayed from multiple market participants, and ECNs will automatically match and execute orders. 
Electronic communication network fees are applied on a per trade basis, usually fractions of a cent ECNs charge a service fee for matching buyers and sellers who trade on their exchange and networks. To open an ECN trading account, simply create an account at one of the many ECN trading platforms available best suited to your needs. Go Markets, Exynos, and XM are some of the most popular platforms. Here are five key takeaways. 1. An electronic communication network, ECN, is a digital system that matches buyers and sellers looking to trade securities in the financial markets. 2. ECNs allow brokerages and investors in different geographic areas to trade without a third party involved, offering privacy for investors. 3. ECNs enables trading to happen outside of traditional trading hours, therefore enabling investors to react to or anticipate after hours news. 4. One of the downsides of using ECNs is that they have access fees and commission charges that can jack up the overall price of use. 5. Without ECNs, it would take considerably longer for buyers and sellers to be matched with one another, making it more difficult to enter or exit positions and adding to the costs and risks of trading. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.